Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a site-to-site -side VPN connection on Azure. A VPN connection is a connection between two or more networks. It could be between a corporate network or a branch network, but in this case, it is going to be between a cloud network and an on-premise network. First, we're going to create our on-premise setup. This is going to be in another virtual network on Azure, and I'm going to deploy this to a separate region from my cloud region. Basically, this is a kind of a simulation of my on-premise network. And the cloud network, I'm going to deploy this to East US region, and then I'm going to host a virtual machine that will host a sample website. And then I'm going to install a virtual network gateway, and that will establish the connection between the cloud network and the on-premise network's gateway. In this case, it is going to be a Windows virtual machine with routing services installed. And also, the last resource that I did not explain is local network gateway. This is the Azure representation of your local network's gateway device. When you create local network gateway, you should configure the public IP address of your on-premises gateway. I'm going to create some of these resources using an Azure CLI to save time and after that I'm going to deploy the important resources for this topic using Azure Portal. As you can see here, I have prepared a script to create the resources that we want on Azure. I'm first going to create our cloud environment. For that, I'm first creating a resource group and then a virtual machine and all the other resources such as the VPN gateway and the local network gateway. I'm going to manually configure them using Azure portal and then I'm going to create the on-premise environment on Azure. First, I'm creating the resource group and then I'm explicitly creating the virtual network and a subnet and after that, I'm creating my virtual machine and here, I am explicitly telling Azure to create this virtual network because I want this virtual network to have a separate IP address range. And all the resources in this section, the on-premise section, is in Southeast Asia and all the other resources is in East US. Now, let me copy this script here and run it on my Azure PowerShell. Now, if I go into Azure Portal, here, as you can see, we have two resource groups. The cloud RG is in East US and the on-premise RG is in Southeast Asia. I want to install IIS in this virtual machine and we have created this virtual machine and the virtual network and also this virtual machine and the virtual network as well using the Azure CLI script. Now, what we have remaining to do is creating virtual network gateway and local network gateway and after that, configuring the routing services on my client virtual machine and after that, establishing the site-to-site -side VPN connection. As the first step, I'm going to install IIS in this server virtual machine so that we can easily know when this setup works. Now, let me go into cloud RG and this server virtual machine. I'm going to RDP into this. All right, now I'm in my virtual machine. Let me add IIS here. I'm going to enable web server. All right, as you can see, our IIS installation is complete now. I'm going into Azure portal again, and then I'm going into networking to open port 80 so that we can see that our server VM works. Now, let me add an inbound security rule and then I'm going to select HTTP and then I'm going to change the inbound security rule name as well and then let me add the inbound security rule. All right, now let me go into the overview. You will have to wait for around 30 seconds until this network security group gets updated. Now I have copied the IP address of my virtual machine and then let's try to access it. As you can see, the web server works. Now I'm going to create the virtual network gateway of our architecture. I'm going back to cloud resource group and here I'm going to create the virtual network 
gateway i'm going to create a resource and search for virtual network gateway and then i'm going to click create and then we can specify the settings i'm going to call this s2s gateway and then the region is going to be east us and the gateway type it is going to be a vpn and i'm going to go with vpn type route based for this side to side vpn connection and then based on the features that you want you can go with higher tiers but i'm going to go with vpn gateway 2 and then gen 2 is okay and the virtual network as you can see it is showing the virtual network that we have created in this east us region i'm going to select this virtual network and as you can see here when we deploy a virtual network gateway device into our virtual network there should be a gateway subnet created in that virtual network and the wizard is showing me the subnet address range of that gateway subnet now there should be a public ip address because we are accessing the virtual network gateway through public internet i'm going to go with public address ip type basic and we have to create the public ip address here i want to call it pip i'm going to keep all these settings as default and then i'm going to create this virtual network gateway all right this deployment takes around 40 minutes to complete until this gets completed we can look into configuring something else like installing routing services into our client virtual machine now if i go into my resource groups and on prem here we have our client virtual machine now i'm going to copy this public ip address and let me rdp into it all right as you can see i have logged in to my client vm now what we have to do is we have to add routing services to this virtual machine for that i'm going to manage and add roles and features and i'm going next and i'm going to enable remote access going next and routing when you enable routing direct access and vpn is also getting enabled and i'm going next and then i'm going to install this service on my client virtual machine all right now let me close this and if i go into post deployment configuration section and open it here we should go with deploy vpn only and then i'm going to go with configure and enable routing and remote access click next and i'm going to go with custom configuration and then i'm going to enable demand dial connections and lan routing i'm going to finish this remote access server setup wizard and when i finish this it is asking me whether i want to start the service now i'm going to start the service all right now we have configured our client vm for setting up our side-to-side -side vpn connection now when i say client vm you should know i'm referring to our local gateway device now i'm going back to azure portal and as you can see our virtual network gateway is still getting deployed so let's wait around 20 or 30 minutes and come back after around 30 minutes our virtual network gateway is ready now if i go into the virtual network gateway as you can see here it has a public ip address and also we have connections tab here we can add connections and also we can add point to site configurations as well in this video the main focus is not point to site connections but site to site connections before creating this connection we have to create the representation of our on-premise gateway in azure for that we have to create our local network gateway resource on azure for that i'm going into resource groups again and cloud og in this resource group i'm going to create a local network gateway i'm going to click create here and then the region i'm going to go with southeast asia and that is where my virtual network gateway is in i'm going to name this local gateway and the ip address 
of my local network gateway device should be entered here. Now let me go into resource groups and on-prem resource group that we have created and the client virtual machine and then I'm going to copy the public IP address of that virtual machine. I'm going to paste it here. Now we have to enter the address space of our virtual network in the local environment. This is the IP address of our on-premise network. I'm going into the resource group on-prem RG and then I'm going into the virtual network resource and here we have the address space. I'm going to copy this address space and then paste it here in this local network gateway creation wizard and then I'm going to create our local network gateway. All right, let me create this resource now. All right, as you can see, our local network gateway is in place now. We have created all the resources that we need on Azure for doing this demo. Now, what we have to do is we have to associate this local network gateway with our virtual network gateway. For that, we have to create a virtual network gateway connection. And for that, I'm going into my cloud RG and then I'm going into virtual network gateway and to connections and then I'm going to add connections. Let me call it local connection and the connection type, it is going to be a site to site connection and the virtual network gateway is S2S gateway that we have created and now we have to select the local network gateway. I'm going to select that as well. Now we have to add a pre-shared key into this virtual network gateway connection. For that I'm going to go with 123456 something like this and I'm going to keep all the other settings as default and then I'm going to click OK. When you create this connection configuration, if there's an issue, for example, if the IP address range does not match, there will be an error. All right, as you can see, our local connection is created. Again, if you look at our architecture, we have created all the resources and we have finally configured our local network gateway as a connection to our virtual network gateway as well. Now, the final step is connecting our client VM or gateway virtual machine in our local network with our virtual network gateway on Azure. For that, I'm going into my client VM and then I'm going to right click and add new demand dial interface here. I'm going to go next. Let me call it Azure VPN or something like this. And this is going to be a VPN connection. So I'm going to go with this one and the VPN type, I'm going to go with Ike V2 and here we have to insert the public IP address of our virtual network gateway. For that, I'm going into Azure portal and then I'm going to copy the public IP address here. I'm going to paste it. I'm going to go next. And now we have to configure the information that is required about the virtual network that we have on Azure. For that, I'm going into Azure portal and then I'm going to my cloud RG resource group and to my virtual network that I have here. And as you can see, the address space is 10.0.0.0. I'm going to copy this address space and then I'm going to paste it here. The network mask is 16. So let me insert that as well. And now let me update the metric here. I'm going to add something like 10. The lower metrics will get a higher precedence. I'm going to click OK and then I'm going to go next and these dial out credentials I'm going to keep empty for now and then I'm going to finish this wizard. As you can see, let me maximize this. We have a new network interface and if I try to connect it, the connection does not work and that is because we have not configured the pre-shared key. For configuring that, I'm going into the properties of this network interface and security and I'm going to go with this option, use pre-shared key for authentication. I'm going to insert the same key that I have used for creating the connection to my virtual network gateway. 
I'm going to click OK. All right. And now I'm going to right click and click connect again. As you can see, we have successfully connected to Azure VPN Gateway. If I go in to resource groups and to cloud RG to my server virtual machine and as you can see here, the private IP address of this virtual machine is 10.0.0.4. Let me copy this IP address and now I'm going into the gateway virtual machine and then I'm going to open IIS and let's try to access this website. As you can see, I can access my cloud environment from my on-premise environment. We have successfully connected from this gateway virtual machine to this server using a site-to-site -site VPN connection. And this is the end of this video. If you have any comments or questions, let me know down below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you learn something new today. And thanks for watching.